Hey everybody, I hope you're all well and I hope you're all really, really, really happy. Now, uh, in addition to the Cliff Crap Painting Show when it comes to things like painting, there is another um, thing I'd like to introduce and I'm going to start doing it once a week and that's little motivational anecdotes, not a speech necessarily, but just something which I think will help uh, anyone who just wants to take something to the next level. Some habits, some tips, and some advice about if you're interested in anything, if you're doing something, if there's something which you're involved in, which you feel you want to improve, if there's something which you feel you want to develop, and if there's something which you feel you want to excel in, I would suggest three core strategies. Now, these three core strategies are absolutely essential for a number of reasons. But effectively, what it boils down to is practice. When it comes to anything in life, is practice. And we also must realise that practice isn't always easy. And when it comes to making things better, when it comes to developing, when it comes to excelling in anything, we have to accept the fact that difficulties are a part of life. What this means is this. If I want to go to the gym, and I want to get the biggest muscles that I want. If I want to be completely ripped, have pecs coming out here, muscles out here, I must go through pain. Now the reason why I must go through pain is because it's that you're pushing yourself from one state to the next state, right? That's what it's all about. So you're pushing yourself from one state to the next. Similarly, when it comes to learning, you must take a test. Why do you take a test? Why is it important to take a test? Because you enable yourself to learn how to go from this level to this level. Now, equal in life, I think as a society in the West, we are very, 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 um, sort of, what's the idea? Against the idea of facing challenges. Sometimes some of us would, would rather run away from a challenge than face a challenge. We'd rather seek that which is comfortable rather than that which is challenging. Um, we'd rather go and do something which ultimately is going to be easy and calming rather than something which, although immediately might be a little bit <gasps> scary, is going to make you develop, is going to make you to push through any of the obstacles which are in your life. So I'll just share with you one example. Um, let's say, for example, that um, you want to develop your skill in a particular area. Let's say you want to develop your skill in writing. Okay, You want to become a better writer you're only going to be able to develop your skill as a writer if you force yourself, you discipline yourself to spend time by yourself. That means you have to allow the distractions to not come in. That means you have to make sure that you're independent and you're focused. If, for example, you have a goal, let's say you've got a big goal. Let's say your goal is you want to start a company. Let's say your goal is you want to um, in develop a new skill. Let's say that your goal is you want to develop something in a relay, any goal that you might have. It's essential that you have that discipline that's going to keep you in the game, it's going to keep you focused. If you keep getting sidetracked and emotionally sidetracked, so you, be, you can be emotionally sidetracked and you can also be socially sidetracked. There's two different ways of becoming sidetracked. If, for example, you get caught up in frustration, Acknowledge it and say, why do I have this frustration? I have this frustration because I know I should be somewhere where I'm not. Well, then you say to yourself, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this change in my behavior. I'm going to make this change in my thinking. I'm going to make this change. I'm going to analyze the situation as a problem that's going to enable me to leap forward rather than a problem that's weighing me down. So that's one thing. And that process must involve a difficulty. But once you push through the process and you get to the side, you've learned. It's like when you develop and you do, you're doing the bench press and you've got to the next level. Now, obviously, life is about having fun. Life is about joy. Life is about happiness. Of course it is. But we can only learn and grow and develop if we have the ability to analyse everything that we're going through as part of a process that's enabling us to achieve and not a process which is trying to destroy us or take us off the path. So, as you know, in this Cleese of Crack Show motivational um, episode, what I would say is this, if there's anything that you're interested in, if there's anything that you love, if there's anything that you want to do, don't be scared to have a try. Don't be scared to go through the pain that you need to go through to get there and ultimately believe in yourself. If there's something you want to do, 
believe in yourself, focus on having the right routines, and lastly, stick to it. Stick to it like glue. And that glue will keep you focused forever. So, when it comes to painting, two hours every day. That's what you must do. If you want to develop as a painter, if you want to develop as an artist, that's what I'm gonna to do tonight, two hours drawing. If, for example, you've got this big goal, and you say, oh, there's a party over here, oh, there's a party over there, and there's a party over here, yes, you might wanna to go to the party, but just think, is that gonna enable me to develop? That's my message to you guys. I hope you take it on board. Have a wonderful weekend. Keep focused, and always, always, always stick to the things that you love. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.